There's so much pressure to be thin. If you want to be pretty, you have to be thin. If you want to be successful, you have to be thin. If you want to be sexy, you have to be thin. Thin, 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 thin. Do you all use the BMI number for any reason? Mine said that I was overweight. Don't call people overweight. Over what weight? Over the weight that's good for them? Well, that's going to vary enormously among individuals. Who decided that skinny was beautiful? When did that start? Losing weight is something that has to be held up as like a lifetime achievement award. If you've lost weight, you've done something truly great. I owe you six more pounds. I need to get down to 125. I used laxatives, I used enemas, I would take a baseball bat and like hit my stomach with a baseball bat. Are you cured from the eating disorder? I would say I am in the way that I don't overeat and go purge, but not the mindset. Diets don't work. If you look at a five-year follow-up of diets, you have 85 to 95% relapse rate. Once you go on a diet, any after that, anything you eat, your body is just going to be like, oh my god. What do you have for breakfast? Eggs, <laughs> bacon, link sausage. It's a, it's a buffet. Yeah. Is it, that's not moderation. It's not. <laughs> no. I weigh 224 and my quality of life has not suffered dramatically. I'm fat and it's okay. The notion that you can be obese and healthy is a fiction. To look at a person's body and say that person is sick because they're not thin is a terrible way of addressing the question of health in America. Whatever it is, the colonel was a genius. <laughs> <laughs>